good morning everyone and um, thank you for, for giving us your, your time this morning. Um, clearly this is a little bit of a uh, detachment from the in-person, uh, well what was the user group events and then last year the Connect event when we rebranded it. Um, you know we're all really excited to, to host this for you. Um, we started doing some, um, some, some sort of online events and webinars over the past couple of years. Clearly, there's a, a new way of working, and we want to sort of make sure that we can get you as much content uh, as we possibly can. So, um, obviously, our details are up there. Caroline and I are only, you know, available on the end of the phone. You can you can email us and speak to us. We love to sort of hear what's going on um, within your your businesses. Um, but importantly, the LinkedIn links. I mean, they're not the most friendly of, uh, of hyperlinks, but we would love to be able to connect with you um, and be able to share. Kind of thoughts, um, you know, updates. We we do put quite a lot on there. Some of you might follow the Tiger um, actual page, but we do put a lot of content. So if you haven't already connected with us um, and you'd like to, please do so. Um, we think that would be a great way to, to build uh, our networks and keep you again informed, so you don't miss any of these types of events. So um, it's a really big welcome um, from from all of us at Tiger. Um, some of you have been customers for many years, and we clearly appreciate that. And we also are very pleased to, to welcome some, some new customers. So um, first of all, um, we've got some pretty significant news to actually share with you. Um, and you will remember that, you know, Caroline and myself have both been at Tiger now for uh, almost 25 years each. Um, and Stevie, uh, who you will remember as, as the owner of, of Tiger, uh, and previously his business partner, Brian, um, clearly, we've had a lot of years together and, and sort of built a very successful business. And we we sort of um, started some discussions uh, towards the end of last year, where you know Stevie uh, is, is is you know getting to a point where he he wanted to kind of slow down in terms of how much he was doing on a day to day basis. And we started looking at what what you call succession planning. And it is with uh, those of you who may have seen it on LinkedIn recently. It's with great um, sort of pleasure and, and you know pride that today um, we can confirm for those of you that don't know that um, as of Friday the second of June, uh, Caroline, Phil, and myself um, actually completed what's called a management buyout of Tiger. Um, but you'll be pleased to know that Stevie's actually not done what they you know an exit. He actually has um, continued in the business with us, and we're now four equal equity partners. Uh, and what's really important with that is that where we've uh, you know, built the business to a, a level that you know, we have, um, we can see obviously a fantastic future for Tiger. Um, we've got lots of ideas about how we might be able to add additional value to you. We might be able to, uh, and we've got some, some news today about some additional services and things. Um, but we want to do this together, and that's really important to the four of us. Um, Stevie will continue in his role as chairman and offering, you know, mentorship and support. And uh, equally, you know, he's our he's our primary investor. Um, and as part of that, I've stepped into the CEO role. Caroline and Phil already were, were doing obviously their their key roles as sales director and software director. And we will continue now, and it's got that long-term succession plan. Where as a team, we will be we will be taking Tiger forward, uh, and obviously, you know, you are all hugely important to that future success. So um, we are genuinely very excited, and and we hope that you all are. And and that's really kind of the the big news in terms of the actual business. Um, there's no change, you know, apart from a change of us now having joint ownership. There's no other external uh, involvement. So therefore, you know, rest assured we still will continue with that sort of strategy about how we, we run our business and, and what we want to try and achieve. So hopefully uh, that's good news for all of you. Um, and those of you that have already been with us for like maybe upwards of 15 years or more, we'd love you all to still be customers in, in that 15 years time and, and, and really achieve a lot together. So um, thank you to my partners as part of that. It's been you know something that we've had to work you know, and, and it might involve some sleepless nights over the next um, few years, but we're, we're all very confident that we can really, uh, you know, drive the business forward. So just for a little bit of comedy value, um, we actually did grow up in this business. So on the left hand side, that was probably one of our first Christmas parties. We like to have a bit of a laugh and a joke. And in the middle, that was uh, the more recent Christmas party. So we'd like to hope that, you know, you feel that you're in safe hands moving forward. 
And then you've got Phil and Stevie. Um, that was literally the, the lunch we went on just after we, we completed the deal. And just to bring Phil into the fold, because he is a bit of a tiger baby at only sort of 10, 11 years nearly. So we thought we'd just show you him as a, a junior as well. So um, yeah, that, it's just, just a little bit of comedic value. So um, why tiger? Now, I appreciate some of you were at the event at Shakespeare's Globe in October. Um, so there will be a little bit of content that we'll repeat here. And the reason being is clearly we've got a fantastic attendee list today. Um, and there'll be a lot of information that um, people won't be aware of. So our vision as a customer, as a company, you know, this was established uh, last year, um, just before we really started talking deeply about the MBO. But we want to empower our customers to make better data driven decisions. So everything that we do from a development services sales perspective is all about trying to support you to actually achieve more to um, be able to provide better information into your business around your UC uh, platforms. Um, and really, we have three st strategic pillars to deliver that. The first one being product. So, you know, it's highly important to everyone that we continue the product innovation. Um, now, we've spent a lot of time over the past few years effectively building out Prism as a, a new platform. Some of you will remember the first iteration, the 2016 to 2018 versions. And then most of you, I think, will probably be on the 2020 onwards um, versions now. So, you know, we want to continue following the Gartner Magic Quadrant leaders in terms of the UC providers. We want to also be able to give you the features that you, you most need. Um, so I'll talk to you a little bit later on about our development methodology and how we prioritize work and you know what what gets into the product and how those kind of um, development pillars work. So the product is vitally important and we rely on you as customers and partners to help us understand what's needed in the market. And whereas we may just not decide certain strategic directions, we equally, and you'll see from the product update later, um, that we are committed to developing and adding features that are requested from our customer base. So the product is key. We're also looking at what other additional products we might be able to bring into the portfolio. Um, and you know, our key value, one of our key values is that we want to be a great company to work with and deliver excellent service to you when you need our support, we're there for you. And you know, ultimately you want to work with Tiger. And we do get asked by customers sometimes, it's like, you know, is there something else that you can offer us? Because we know that we can trust you. We know that you're there to support us and actually, you know, maybe we can do more with you. So that's certainly part of our long-term plan and uh, to be able to bring to you additional services and products that you can trust is, you know, delivered through Tiger with our uh, support staff, our expertise, but fundamentally that's a great company for our people as well. Um, and that's always been part of the core value, you know, Caroline and I being here 25 years, we know this company, we understand what really makes it tick. We know what makes the people, you know, love the business. We, you know, our staff retention is really high in terms of, I think it's still over sort of 300 plus years amongst the team. Um, and, you know, we, even at 25 years, Caroline and I are actually two, a couple of the shorter term um, staff here. So we're doing lots for our teams, you know, in terms of how we, we work with them how we adopt the new ways of working, what, you know, the, the, it works for them in terms of how they work, but ultimately, ultimately we want to continue. And, and the, the key driver will be, and Richard will talk about some of this later, what, you know, as long as our service to you is still at the level that we want it to be and you need it to be, then obviously, you know, we will continue to make sure that, you know, we, we deliver for our, our people and, and moving forward. So those are kind of how we, we, we're running the business. It's how we want to make our decisions in the business, all about sort of assisting you to make better data-driven decisions. So I'm going to ask you now just for a, a minute um, to visit a website called menti.com. Um, and on there, when you visit the site, you can type in a code and it will actually ask you a question about what you think of Tiger. And you know, we, we really value this input because it helps us understand 
what your perception of us is a, as a business and whether that's aligned to where you know what we want it to be what we think it should be and ultimately you know if we need to make any corrections to that so um these uh sites do stay up um so obviously if you do need to you know, make a note of the code you can visit it later and what we will do is actually show you the feedback towards the end of the, the sessions later on today um, so obviously we would love as many of you as possible to actually complete that hopefully you've had enough time to take down that number uh, and then we'll revisit it with Caroline later so so some of you might not have um, necessarily sort of seen as much about what we've actually been doing over the last few years and clearly it's been a, a huge period of adjustment for many businesses I'm pleased to say that Tiger has, has actually come through the last few years very successfully because of you know our customer base like yourselves um, and also the fact that we had you know taken a direction to move to certain kinds of subscription based business about sort of 12 years ago um, and that really helps us be, um, in terms of you know a, a constant revenue base um, but ultimately in order to, to support you we have to keep moving forward so I'm not going to read all of these out because you know clear there's a lot there but we have we have a lot of projects moving at Tiger at any one time so some of you will recognize as a different brand so we did a whole rebrand our first one in probably about 15 years um, we also redu uh, produced that 2020 R1 which was the second iteration of Prism um, Richard's uh, going to talk a little bit more about service but since he joined us in December of 2020 We've had a lot of initiatives around how we um, work with you, how we better monitor that, how we analyze it, and how we better deliver all of our projects. So he and his team have, have worked very, very hard over the last couple of years. We've done a series of ISO 27001 recertifications and audits. That's something we have to do every year. And just knowing uh, how many of you ask about the security and the InfoSec pieces, you know that's an essential part of our business to be able to, to continue delivering to you. We also looked at, uh, Richard will talk about net promoter score so that we can again see how we're performing for you and we restructured the development team completely once we finished the main kind of R&D project for PRISM uh, release 2 where we implemented a whole new uh, strategy uh, around agile development, uh, we've implemented Azure DevOps so we are now you know running a, a very different kind of uh, waterfall type approach um, with with development um, we also have launched a new campaign um, i'm going to talk about that in a, a second um, we did the connect event and we've also released the web form so richard will come into that and finally welcome you we're all, all here today for the connect online event and we, I want to stress, we are still committed to running an in-person event. Um, we, we find it fantastic to meet customers face to face. Um, but what we wanted to do was try and actually introduce this type of uh, remote event that clearly more customers would be able to attend uh, and digest the content. But equally, we would be able to um, possibly bring the customer, the face to face event maybe into the, the middle of the year which might be a little bit more you know enjoyable for people when there's some travel involved but it's not at the the end of the year when you know winter is arriving um so we've got lots of projects still underway and clearly with the mbo completed the leadership team are really focused now about how you know what are the next steps and, and where will be uh, one of those that i'm going to be talking to you about shortly so what is leveling up your UC vision? And, and there's going to be a recurring theme and referral to this during the day. OK, and this comes from, you know, speaking to customers and understanding the different types of value um, that they receive from Tiger and from the Prism product. And certainly when we hear from Ian and Chris and the user presentations today, you know, we understand customers are at different points in their journey. Um, and ultimately, we have to support you through that. And our job is to try and push you, you know, as, as you want to do it, push you up from that log and respond, which is the system is just purely monitoring information and you're going to it as and when to move you through the levels that actually means you're using it more proactively 
that you're actually distributing the information better within your own business because different decisions can be made within teams that you might not understand there's a need for but by finally getting to that empower and inspire and having conversations about what new challenges or new data could be put into the business you know that's where we start to hear some of the really exciting stories and that's why we want to share with you today so again there's a, a fantastic um sort of uh, ebook uh, on this which is on the website and there is a link later on in the presentations and again we will share the presentations uh, and make those available and the recordings for you you afterwards so we have a fantastic customer list we are genuinely so proud of it um, and year on year we keep welcoming uh, new customers and it really is split across all of the different vertical sectors um, you know we are we still sort of see ourselves a relatively small business um, but when i talk to to peers and colleagues and friends you know, they genuinely can't believe the type of customers that we're working with. And again, just to extend you know, gratitude and thanks to everybody about the fact that, you know, you want to work with Tiger and you see value in what we're offering um, to you with, with our products. So, you know, welcome to everyone. And we hope again, you'll be with us as, as long as, as some of our other customers on this call.